Hello everyone. Welcome back to Med Search Mentor. Gallbladder is a small organ located just beneath the liver which holds the digestive fluid bile that is released into the small intestine. Today let's discuss about cholelithiasis which are hardened deposits in the gallbladder or in simple terms gallstones. Okay, let's get started. First of all, let's see what is cholelithiasis. It is the presence of gallstones which are solidifications that form in the biliary tract, usually in the gallbladder. And cholelithiasis refers to the presence of one or more gallstones in the common bile duct. Major causes of cholelithiasis are excess cholesterol in bile, high bilirubin level, and incomplete emptying of gallbladder. Risk factors of cholelithiasis are female gender, age 40 or older, overweight, sedentary lifestyle, pregnancy, high fat diet, family history of gallstones, blood disorders such as sickle cell anemia or leukemia, medications that contain estrogen, and having liver diseases. Types of gallstones. There are mainly two types of gallstones and they are cholesterol gallstones and pigment gallstones. Cholesterol gallstones are usually yellowish green in color, which are made of hardened cholesterol. More than 80% of gallstones are cholesterol stones. On the other hand, pigment stones are made of increased load of bilirubin in the liver. It can be either black or brown in color. Pathophysiology of cholelithiasis Due to etiological factors like increased cholesterol or bilirubin synthesis in liver, there is supersaturation of bile with either cholesterol or bilirubin. This leads to formation of precipitates or crystals, which is called gallstones. As the size of the gallstones increase, it leads to inflammatory changes in the gallbladder. Prominent clinical features of cholelithiasis include abdominal pain at the right upper quadrant, abdominal swelling, distension or blotting, abdominal tenderness, clay colored stool, fever and chills, loss of appetite, nausea with or without vomiting, Pain that radiates from abdomen to the right shoulder or back, sweating, and jaundice. Diagnostic measures done to rule out cholelithiasis are blood test, x ray, abdominal ultrasound, endoscopic ultrasound, oral cholecystography, computerized tomography or CT scan. Magnetic resonance cholangiopancreatography and endoscopic retrograde cholangiopancreatography. Commonly seen complications of cholelithiasis include gallbladder cancer, blockage of the pancreatic duct, blockage of common bile duct, cholecystitis, obstructive cholangitis and pancreatitis. Now let's move on to the management of cholelithiasis. And they are analgesics such as non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs and antispasmodic agents, antibiotics, medications to dissolve gallstones such as ursodeoxycholic acid, and chenodeoxycholic acid, laparoscopic cholecystectomy, open cholecystectomy, extracorporeal shockwave lithotripsy, 
and methyl tertiary butyl ether injection. Let's see the surgical managements in brief. Laparoscopic cholecystectomy is the removal of gallbladder through multiple small incisions. It is a less invasive and more commonly used technique. Whereas open cholecystectomy is the removal of gallbladder through a single large incision. Extracorporeal shockwave lithotripsy is used to break up or fragment gallstones by sending shockwaves through the soft tissues of the body. Last procedure is methyl tertiary butyl ether injection. It is an emerging procedure involving a solvent injection which rapidly dissolve gallstones. It is a non-surgical procedure. Some of the preventive measures of cholelithiasis are lose weight slowly, maintain healthy weight, do not skip meals, eat high fiber foods, ensure hydration, avoid high fat diet, and do regular exercise. Important nursing diagnosis for patients with cholelithiasis are acute pain related to the inflammatory process, imbalanced nutrition less than body requirement related to dietary restrictions and pain, impaired thermoregulation, hypothermia related to the inflammatory process, activity intolerance related to pain and weakness, deficient knowledge regarding disease condition, impaired skin integrity related to the surgical procedure, and fear and anxiety regarding uncertain outcome. Important nursing cares are assess pain level, vital signs and nutritional status, promote adequate rest, keep the patient NPO as necessary, monitor intake and output, perform frequent oral hygiene with alcohol-free mouthwash, encourage use of relaxation techniques and provide diversional activities, ensure low-fat diet with adequate hydration, provide parenteral or enteral feedings as needed, administer analgesics, antibiotics and IV fluids, and prepare patient for surgical procedures. So far, we have seen regarding cholelithiasis or in simple words, gallstones. Gallstones are pieces of solid material that form in the gallbladder that is a small organ under the liver. We have also seen regarding its etiology, risk factors, types, pathophysiology, clinical features, diagnostic measures, complications, management, nursing diagnosis and nursing care. Thank you so much for watching and if you find this video informative, please don't forget to like, share and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.